Okay, if you read that little article about fishing with kids, I'm just going to follow up with that with a video. So, what we wrote, what I wrote in that article, you'll be able to see what we're doing today. We're going to go chase some flathead and some other estuary species with the young fella. So, first of all, basic little setup for him. Because he's a bit younger, I want him to be touching the bottom in the shallow water. So we're running a 3 8 uh, TT headlocks jig head on a 3 0 hook. Now I'm going to let him choose his plastics. Got a whole heap of Z mans here, but I'll probably be I'll let him choose. But I'll kind of be steering him towards a, a minnow, a three inch minnow, because that'll be able to get to the bottom. Looks like a little bait fish getting away. Now. I've just rigged myself up with one, but I've got on Emmett's uh, headlocks jig head is is a um, heavier gauge wire, just so he can hold on and he's a little bit inexperienced. And then I've gone to for myself a headlocks TT jig head, uh, fine gauge, so it just pins the fish a lot easier. And I've put a pin fish on there, so that's one of my favourite colours. Um, pretty basic setups. Um, I'm really, really loving this reel at the moment. That's in Kuma Epixel. Um, just super smooth, really, really good. And then I'm using an LRF from a Kuma as well. So I've had this rod for two years now, and from an affordable rod, I've caught Barra up to 90 centimeters, snapper, all sorts. It looks thin but it's just got the power to back it. So that's a three to six kilo Akuma LRF. Um, check them out, they're a cool little rod. But that Apixel is very, very smooth. So we're running five pound platypus braid on there with a 10 pound leader. And the leader's approximately, I don't know, say one and a half meters long. So, oh, it's pretty much a rod length long. But that, on a 10 pound leader, throwing into the weeds and bringing it out into them little sand pockets is going to be deadly. So, they're the two lighter setups, uh, both LRFs. And because I don't go anywhere with, without a heavier setup, um, generally when I'm standing around you might see a uh, snapper, larger dew or something like that. Um, I change up to the Saros combo. So that's a 5 to 12 kilo, 7 foot. Uh, Saros rod from Akuma and like the little LRF I used to have this matched up on my um, 3 to 6 kilo LRF uh, the Helios uh, now I run it on the Saros so that's a 4000 size and that's got plenty of power for snapper even tuna anything like that very very good setup very light and very affordable all right so I'm going to keep rigging I've got two more rods I've got another one the same as that and a little bait caster oh and I never go anywhere without my blade, so I'll be using that in the deeper water in the passage, um, flathead, dew, giant herring, everything like that. Alright, I'm going to get this kid ready, he's having breakfast, had some nice toast this morning, I'll get him ready, we're not in a hurry, we're going to go catch the last of the run out tide and see what we can find for you. But um, simple as that, for the little one, he's got his rod there. I'll let him choose a plastic, let him have some fun with it. We'll put some music on the boat and make a day of it. Right, hey, let's do it. Kid, I can guarantee you, he's probably going to be on the iPad. I've told him to get ready, but you know what kids are like. Oh, you're ready? Ready to go fishing? Yeah? Right, hey, what do you want to bring? You can't bring that. Oh, no, not the iPad. What are we going to do? Food? Ice cream? No, later. You can bring that later. Right, this is where we're going to cut because we're going to have a little argument about it, if you can bring an ice cream or not. Everybody wins. Everyone wins, you reckon? <laughs> Righto. Put your seatbelt on. Time to go. What are we going to catch? Nothing. Nothing? Yeah. Oh my. We're here. What have we got? One minty left already. My minty. Yeah. How's the weather? Have a look at this. Yeah. Absolute glass. Oh, just. It's like. 
Good, eh? A little rat. Yeah, it's in the boat, I think. Oh, it's in your hand. Oh, it's in my hand. Have a look. Sweet. Locked in. You see, it's super clear in the passage. We just dropped in. Have a look at this day. So good. What do you reckon? I can drive. Yeah, you can drive. So, when you bring your kids out on, on the water, you want them to get into something pretty quick. So, what are we going to do? I know we're a heap of little yellow tail pika, so we're gonna go there, we'll chuck a little slim swim on and we'll get some runs on the board for the young fella first and then we'll once this tide drops out we'll go chase some flatties. So this should be pretty fun. Keep him occupied for a bit. Okay, so we're gonna go and get some pike. We're gonna chuck a little slim swim on the young fella's rod on that little 3A that I talked to you about. So you want to get it on nice and centre. And what we're going to do with these, we're just going to do long casts and wind them over this edge of this flat here. And little yellow tail should jump all over that. Want to come up the front, buddy? Look at that. Beautiful little presentation. Emmett comes here, so we're just seeing a heap of bait on top. So we're going to have a cast. Are you going to come up, mate? Quick, 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 come on. Did you get something? Yep. Oh. We're going to eat their way up. Did you got it? Yeah, you got it. Yeah, nice. I don't know what we got. Data. Uh, that's it, just take it easy on him. No, coming. So it pays to keep an eye and see what's happened. We're on a dead flat day. And I've seen a heap of bait come working on. up on the flat. Data. So it could be just a pike, could be anything. Come to get us! Oh, he's got a nice tailor. Take it easy. Come to get us. We said, come to get us. Get us! 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 No, right over. That's oh. it. Nice. Here you wake up. Beautiful. Are we going to eat them? Oh, I don't know. Or is it too little? Look at that. Hello. So, that's just that little slim swim over the flat. <laughs> and um, I threw it out for Emma and just have a quick wind and these tailor. There must have been a few of them there. So, we just hooked it for you and let it wind in, eh? We were after pike up first, but who knows? Want to pat him? Look at that. So that's that little slim swim there. And we're in about oh not even a meter of water. So because it's real flat, we're just keeping an eye out for any movement, eh? As soon as we get movement, what do we do? Throw the line out and do a quick wind, eh? And then they come to data. And they come to data. Alright. We'll get this one off and um, if he measures up, a lover feeder tailor, we'll put him on ice and that's the start of our day. So even if we don't catch anything else, I'm pretty sure we had a bit of fun there, eh? Right? Yeah. Let's do it. Yeah. Oh, he come off. Oh. oh. I was just showing him how to hop a lure, and it's so clear we've seen this big flatty. He just come up. Did you see him grab it? Yeah, he went. We just smashed it. Oh. We're just coming over some different weed. It's been a lot of dead weed. And yeah, get your cast out there. Nice on cars. And I'm like, oh, have a look at this lure, Emma. And I just popped it up a few times, and this flatty was under the weed, just come up and engulfed it. It didn't set the hook. Yeah. <laughs> That's so cool. Hey, man. Hey, uh. Yeah. Bring him over here. 
people don't know it. Yeah. So, it's a oh, nice fish there, mate. Yeah, right he'll, he'll run, he'll run. Bring him over, steer him with the rod. Oh, yeah! Nice, it's a dinner. Bring him over. Yes! Are we eating him? Yeah. Look at that. Show him what she called it on. Swim, swim. A swim, swim. Swim, Tim, swim. Swim, swim. Swim, little boy. Swim, swim. Beautiful flash. A little swim, swim. Well done. Well done, Hammond. Okay, put the rod down this way. Right. You're going in the pool, I'll get to the This car's got a little swimming. Emmett got a nice little flatty. That's all the fishing for today. Now I'm going to make some sand castles.